Hello everyone, it's Lou from Craft Stash. Today I want to tell you a quick crafty hack that only takes you a few minutes. Now this is a kind of getting prepared in advance and it's all about uh, when you need a hot glue gun and actually you don't want to have to get your hot glue gun out and leave it to heat up for minutes or sometimes even longer at a time. Um, if you are prepared in advance with some hot glue drips and drops, you can use those in just seconds on your cards when you need one. So the preparation is at some point to take your hot glue gun, warm it up and pop some dots onto a silicon or heat resistant mat. Now, you can do this uh, purposefully or you can just save up all those glue drips that you get from your glue gun when you're using it because very often we find those and we end up picking them off our craft mat and throwing them away. But I like to spend a few minutes, maybe once or twice a month, just creating my own little glue drops of different sizes. Now allow these to cool. Now once your drops have cooled, you can peel them off and store them somewhere. Make sure you don't still store them anywhere that's warm, of course, because this will affect them. They could well melt together. But pop them all together, and then when you do need to put an embellishment on a card, simply take one of your drops. I'm going to take quite a small one because I want to put this little butterfly on. I'm going to place the drop where I need it and just take my heat gun instead. So this will just take a few seconds to warm up the glue again. And as soon as that's warm enough, you just press your embellishment into it. So that's melted the glue. I'm going to pop my embellishment on and that will cool. And I've now got instant glue drops that are really, really strong. Again, that's going to recool again. If you've positioned that in the wrong place, you can always warm that up and readjust it again. Um, and it's just a fabulous hack if you don't want to be getting your hot glue gun out again every time and reheating it.